But then again, this is three on three. Sometimes the no brain does work. Let's see. Fight. Let's see. And it's going to be Giga Putty on attack first. Slow push. Plaz with the MP40. He just wants to rail. Let's see what he does. Lots of shooting coming out from Steve. Does do quite a bit of damage. Plaz is going to be able to make his way towards the flag and he does pick it up. Heavy respawn's going to come in. They're going to try and clear out. Someone's gone hiding. Really smart play by whoever that was, Steve. That's what I'm talking about. He knows he might not be able to get the frag, but he can draw them out of position just for the timing. The plant should still come down, though. Oh, nice grenade through the window from Crumbs. No revive comes in this time. And they are going to have to get that plant down. They've only got one engineer. They are kind of risking it. Nice airstrike through the window from Plaz. That should stop. Unless there's some, like, proper hero mode grenade. And Chris is going to... Missed plant! Oh no! I saw the dynamite get thrown. I was like, hmm, he's tried the long throw. He went for the disarm there. Um, <laughs> we're going to just watch the embarrassment, guys. Yeah, yeah, we're just going to keep watching. It's going to go down finally. No one saw it, Chris. Don't worry. No one's made a clip of that and put it in the media section of the RSW Discord. Nobody. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, so they, we'll, get, we'll skip past this. They've got the plants down. It's taking them a little bit of time. It'll be two minutes by the time things blow. But they're going to get their sort of pushing towards the objective. Chris might be able to catch an Axis player out here. They've given the objective away for free. The time, the time lost before is gained straight back. Straight back. That's Chris... Makes his way towards the courtyards. He's got two teammates with supports. I'm not sure if they're going to have a, like, a proper solid spawn time just yet. It's nice to have a good solid spawn time on this map. Push forward our Raz and Steve. Playing a little bit aggressive. Steve on a 15 second spawn time needs to be careful. Nice work by Crumbs. As he's going to push forward for the revive. Oh no, the objective's gone! Raz is letting him through! Oh no! Oh no. What a time! 2 minutes 26, was it 2 minutes 26? Jeez, not even worth looking at the stats at this point. Chris, zero kills too! What a, what a, what a round. What a round. <laughs> Could just like upload the demo of that and just like yeah, this is how to do escape guys they've got to do this they've literally got nothing else to do except just press forwards get the flag and gear done i'm glad i was watching crumbs on that because i wouldn't have had any clue what happened otherwise First stage hold is looking pretty decent at the moment. And this is time that the Allies can't really afford to give up. They cannot afford to give this up. They need to get this flag and they need to spawn forward as quickly as possible. But they have yet to really get a frag. I think they've taken an Oxy once, maybe twice. The LT... Life is real. Yep. Two frags. But it's been a massively one-sided by Giga so far. Crossfire was brutal in the lower area. Nice work. Kill Revive does come in. Need to give me... Sh I think I can get the Shoutcaster thing. I, I can do it after this round's finished. I can do that. I literally think it's set up for me. I just haven't logged in. <laughs> 46 seconds left. They can't really do it at this point. They're going to have to get the flag, then push through carpet. Uh, I can't see it being doable. They're going to get the flag. This is it. One chance. This airstrike actually could kill them. It could easily hit this courtyard. There we go. And they respawn on the carpet. Not nice. Not nice for the allies. 
They just they just didn't give themselves anywhere near enough time at all. And they're going to be disappointed with that one. That's going to be a real frustration one as well. It isn't going to be like, oh, we nearly got close. It was just like, it was. it's just a massive misplay. I'm going to be honest, it's rare that you can make a misplay that is so brutally uh, punishing. But there it was. There it was. I mean, they did give up the objective foot pretty cheap too. I'll bring up the scores, but I'm, I'm going to log in as the uh, shoutcaster, guys. Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to update the scores instead. It's 1-0 to Gigapuddy. I'll log up, log in and it's the shout castle between the games. I, I've got no idea uh, what it, benefits it'll give me, but... Maybe the people's names above their head or something. Maybe Queens will be on this now. First stage was, was nasty last time. They have managed to get a frag in. No Gib, so revival coming from Plaz. Each of the uh, the Giga guys getting a frag apiece. Nice strike on towards the long door, but it doesn't look anyone that went that way. Nice shooting from Oxy. Bit of damage done onto the second medic. Someone else should be able to finish that player off. Plaz is going to get taken down the medic. I don't know if he got revived. He apparently did. They're not getting any revives on the attack. They're playing medics for no, like just extra HP pools. That's about it. They're not getting any uh, revives. Here come the kills. Plaz is going to get taken down and they will respawn at the, f at the flag within a minute. Not too terrible. Push towards carpet is going to come in straight away. Plant in the upper area goes down. Did they have a second NG? They do not. They do. Uh, um, uh, is that... Um, yeah, yeah, it's misplants galore today. What's going on? They're trying to do these long range throws. I think they're trying to throw it from cover. Maybe a disarm on the bridge. Maybe a disarm on the bridge. Is he going to come for this? No. I saw the NG. Where is he? Did I? Yeah, Chris was the NG. He would have defused the lower one if it did actually get planted. There's the plant in the lower area. It's done. Dynamite to protect the second dynamite. It was all plants. All plants. Chris coming through the spawn. Chris is going to get caught out. He's on a. He's going to be on like a 15 second spawn, most likely. It's like, not actually that long. Plaz is actually going to be on a long spawn. Does manage to get a gib. And they kill out. So does Crumbs. Unfortunately. He had his hands on the objective there. They will know he killed out. Objective. Oh no! Oh no. <laughs> nice frag by. Uh, he went down to 15 HP, I think I saw it at. <laughs> the team killed the dynamite in the lower area. It's not going well for Queens so far. This is the this is the map choice of, uh, of Queens as well, which is not what you want. I know both teams are going to be pretty solid on both maps, but you know. Really nice shot from Oxy. I think that was a bit of the old uh, RCW Pro anti lag, though. Did see Raz just literally, literally get deleted. <laughs> like, he's just in one bullet. That's what happens in RCW Pro a lot. Objective's going to get picked up. Living on the edge, Giga Puddy. Reclaiming the, the courtyard here. They've got three players in position. Player's going to try and time a grenade from the low push. Nice timed. He's going to take out Raz. I don't know if one got through or not. Oxy seems to be okay. No calls or anything. Nice strike. That's worked by Crumbs. What sort of spawn time is that looking like? Oh. Chris with the head shoots. And they're going to give it up now. They don't have control of courtyards. And he's just going to wait at the objective room. See where the commitments come from uh, Giga Puddy. Kind of uh, all over the place. MG, courtyards. Plaz is going to have to fall back. Push coming in from low Raz. He's going to take it towards the MG. They could probably commit to a decent attack here because the timing's really good to, to attack and then respawn and get the objective back. It's really good for this. This is the this is a committed attack. You really should be pushing us three here. Because you're going to have them out for long. 
pushed out. Risky play. Two frags coming in. And uh, I think that was a bit of health pack behind him. Down to 40 HP. He's backing off. And it is going to be a decent time. Four and a half minutes. That was, the, that was the attack. The timing was perfect for that one. I thought it was Shoutcast login, but it's not. Yeah, unknown CMD Shoutcast login. Thank you. Might be Shoutcast Dura login. I managed to pick up the, f the flag really quickly this time around, Giga Puddy. I think it held up a little bit before. Let's, uh, let's, let's put a pressure spectate on Chris here. He somehow gets team killed. Of all the things. I'm not sure how that happens. Flag does get picked up by by Oxy. Where is he? I just wanna see I don't wanna see Chris. Ah oh, they, they they've they've changed they've changed who does stuff. Nice frags come in. Maybe the flag's gonna get reclaimed by crumbs here. It does indeed. Nice work. There's only a little bit of time on the clock. So basically they've reset the entire the entire matchup. And there's three and a half minutes left. Pretty good. Four spawns here though for Queens. Crumbs just trying to slow him down. I'm not sure who that was. Like came through the door, ran back straight back. Was it Chris? It might have been. Trying to bait out someone, leaning or something. Okay, yeah. It looks like Chris has been demoted to the lower the lower plant. <laughs> Wasn't happy the last time around. Well, they've done it. Well, they've done it quicker than what's on the clock right now. So they're definitely ahead of what they were before. Oxy getting in quite a bit of damage. Revive's gonna come in. No. Yeah. No. They're just gonna run past him. No revive. One player's made it all the way through. Chris. I don't think Crumbs he is. Needs to back off here. Ooh. Spotted him on the bridge. I don't think Crumbs is, uh, was in position too quickly. Nice grenades. Stick with Steve here. Dodgy grenade by Crumbs. I guess short spawn doesn't matter too much. Go on, Steve. He has to get that frag in. Gotta root for my LTs. <laughs> they need all the help they can get right now. As we're gonna have Oxy going into the lower area. He has got the objective. Definitely doable. Definitely, definitely doable. Short spawn for, for Raz here. Not too much for a big deal. Nice give from Steve. Respawns back in as well. I think Crumbs it. Pro oh, nice re respawn frag. Chris is actually going to be out for a little bit of time, though. 10 seconds. That was like a triple midair frag. And I think I think Raz gibbed himself. Are oh, they pushing again? They, they, I mean, they could come from ducks, honestly, but it's not likely. Oh, they're pushing the objective. 10 seconds. They should have this. Did Crumbs not commit? Nope. He wasn't sure. He wasn't sure. Last chance saloon coming up. This is to get the 2-0 to zero lead on your opponent's map choice. This is going to be a brilliant a brilliant result going into Frostbite. Can they get it done? I'm going to stick with Oxy. Nice grenades. The timing of the grenades. I'm guessing that a lot of them are just slow down 5 ticks. This is the last push. Respawn coming in now. Steve is going to actually full time an eight. That was a poor decision. Is it going to cost him this? There's health packs in the door for the allies. I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure about this. Crossfire <laughs> is absolutely fine, though. He's absolutely fine. I'm, the, the, the <laughs> questionable, questionable moment. Nice share from Crumbs right at the end. Putting health packs in the doorway for your enemy. Not sure about it. Not sure about it. We'll be 1-1. One, one. We will go on to Frostbite. Prepare to fight. There you go. Gamma increased. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Ah, I get the spawn times, I see. That's not too bad, I guess. So it looks like the axe is maybe spawning ahead of the allies. I'm guessing, with the colours. Giga Puddy on the attack. Plant is going to go down in that lower area. Ah, I see. I actually don't like this when I go through game. I think I, I, I'm not really a big fan of this, but anyway. Um, as the push comes up, Plant is going to go down in that lower area. We'll, we'll see the sort of rotation. In three on three, it can be very tough. It's pretty much like a one man army on the top of the ladder a lot of the time. Have I ever streamed this game before? Not in RSW Pro. With shoutcasting. I haven't shoutcasted in over a year. Raz has kind of spotted the spawn times. Taking a bit of damage. Nice double airstrike. Rare to see. Rare to see. We might see some revives come in and another airstrike comes out. The entire team taking out of airstrikes in three on threes. This is different. This is a little different. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> they're playing double LT as well. And they're playing someone back. I guess they kind of have to play someone back in, in even in 3 on 3. This isn't like a no back agreement situation. Just no one on low door by the looks of things. Unless they need someone to drop down. Which is probably going to happen now. We'll have crumbs in the lower area. There we go. He is going to get taken out. Two frags coming in for Giga Puddy. It's just the medic alive at the flag. Who they're going to push on a full. Nice damage done. And he's full spawn. Raz is going to be out. Flag will be picked up by the, uh, the allied team Axis. Are in a two on two situation. We'll see what they can do with... Uh, this. I think the allies are probably going to play quite defensive. I don't think they have like the full-on spawn time right now. And Steve is going to be able to reclaim that flag. Nice double headshot. Destroys, destroys players and, and knows where Chris is hiding. Another airstrike frag comes in. Getting more airstrike kills than most people in, on LT in 6 on 6. This is uh, impressive so far. Impressive. The lame position in 6 on 6 is even 10 times more lame in, in 3 on 3. First through the warehouse is going to get taken out. Nice work from Raz. He is on a long spawn now. Needs to be careful. Aggression. Any... Uh, Backfiring. Revive needs to come in in that lower area. It does indeed. Three players push through from Chris, though. He will get the cover from his teammates. He just push straight through for the objective. If they get the frags, he's going to be home free, I'm pretty sure. He'll be able to make it straight through courtyards. Does he go for it? No. They know he's on the end of service as well. He should have paid, maybe just stayed at objective, and they maybe wouldn't have known if he jumped or not. But, obviously, they do now. Nice frag comes in on crumbs. He's out for a reasonable amount of time. Nice grenade. Doesn't do any damage by the looks of things. That grenade did. Druin needs to hold this off. Oh, well, the objective is still at the end of service. Well played by Druin. He's only on a pistol, but... I mean, they know the objective's here. They know they're at objective as well. They don't have to commit too quickly to this. And he's going to get his ammo. That was well played. It played perfectly. Chris, uh, I don't think he's low on ammo. I think he was just trying to peek out some a headshot with the pistol, you know. Style it out a little bit. Respawn's going to come in of the axis right now. There it is. So both teams should realistically know the spawn times of each other now. No, no uh, spawn time issues. And you're going to see the allies just be quite... Slow and defensive. They've only just got the service plant down, actually. Five minutes for the, the service plant is pretty slow. As uh, does get taken out. Engineer pushing spawn side will probably kill out. Unlucky. Nice idea. 
Chris was, uh, sorry, Steve uh, was aware of that potential. He was sat way back in spawn. Two spawn sites. Three spawn sites for the Allied team. Nice grenade. Oh, that was unfortunate. And Raz is going to be able to get that frag. That could have been two frags really quickly. Lots of damage done towards Crumb. It's just on to Raz. Takes down one. Nice revive comes in. The Axis should be okay here. And there might be four spawns coming in. Axis, big risk. If if Crumbs would have been taken out there, that would have been two medics out four. Not nice. Service side push is going to come in as well. Nice grenade by, by Steve. He knows he's got another player backing up that spawn side push. But there is a service push as well. And Plaz is going to have to back off 15 seconds. They're maybe going to put on some pressure towards the flag here. I could hear footsteps and so could Plaz. Grenade. He's going to be caught in the mouth of uh, in the mouth of Steve. And nice headshots on towards Crumbs to stop that, that flag grab. Four minutes. And like I said, the map choice stuff doesn't mean too much. Two players pushing down service Crumbs. I don't think he knew there were two players coming. Nice shooting from players again as well. And he's going to be able to get some damage in towards the last player. Raz is on service. He's just going to run straight courtyard. Nearly gets taken out. They might commit to the, the warehouse pusher. One player I think did or did throw a grenade. I'm not sure. But they should have the freedom to just get over the back wall as the push towards the back spawn comes in. And we see the beautiful objective marker through the wall. Double airstrike from Chris. No Gibbs. No Gibbs on that one. Chris is still alive somehow. He somehow gets a third frag. Nearly uh, just a hero mode frag. Plaz is going up top. The call will be coming in, I'm sure. But it is going to be a time set by Plaz of around about seven minutes. Not the greatest. But definitely not terrible. It wasn't looking great for a long time for the Giga Puddy guys. We'll pick up the frags. And we can see 12 for Steve on the defense and 13 for players on the attack. Quite even on the frags, 29 to 27. But it's actually peculiar that the hitbox goes through the wall on trans. Fight. That is peculiar. Anyway, it neat way. It's going to be Queens on the attack here. They, they don't have to win this, but this could be a quite a defining round for both teams. Relieves the pressure for that last round, makes it less uh, important. Crumbs commits. He wasn't engineered, didn't have much chance to like heal up or anything. Defending team should have the, the spawn time now. Push coming straight up that ladder. We're going to get absolutely destroyed. Nope, that airstrike is going to give cover as well. Two players in the office, badly timed on the airstrike. And Raz attempts to push straight through. Unfortunately, there is a medic in position to get the revive in. But he did manage to get his hands on the flag, and that's important. Push going to come now through the warehouse. Rums caught out by himself. Two-man crossfire at the top of the, uh, the stairs. Heavy commit here. They're maybe going to go for this flag. And they've got the time. There should be one player alive. Engineer. Oh, caught in the reload is Chris. But he does manage to get the, the frag in just in time. Nearly gets needed. But the, the, the flag will get um, reclaimed. It's not like the reinforcements aren't going to come in quickly. It's just they can't really commit to the next stage too quickly. Crumbs coming to the office. Frag's coming in. One player still alive. They're going to have to back off. Did service just blow? Crumbs potentially could have run straight through for that. And we have the, like, the usual uh, insta-frag. Anti-lag for the win. Nice positioning from Chris. Oh, nearly enough headshots too. He's going to be out for 15 seconds or so. Flag should get picked up here. Nice grenades. Flag's taken down, and they, I, should, I think they've got freedom to push through service. They should be able to make it through service. Oxy knows that this is their the opening. I don't think Steve has a grenade in his hands, but they don't know he's here. Yeah, walking is a good idea. They're maybe going to commit to the look. And there it is. Oxy got extremely fortunate. Extremely fortunate. The grenade somehow didn't kill any... Buddy, 
frags coming in. Gotta love the ladder. How's Chris not getting this frag? How? How has Raz got up this ladder? It's impossible. How's he done it? I don't know. He's getting away with the objective. He is home free as it was. He's got support as well in the office. His entire team is here. I think the Axis are going to make it over the back wall. Chris is going to be scratching his head over that one. They're going to try and make their way in towards the transmitter. Oxy is very committed. He's not going to get across. Chris is. Plaza and Oxy on that wall. They really want to just get across towards the, the transmitter if they can. Nice grenade. Perfect. Oxy's like, I want to find this. Let me catch that. Airstrike comes out. And I think, I think the Axis are in trouble. Oh, they've got kind of fortunate where Plaz got pushed to. Very fortunate. What's the health on Plaz here? I think he was healing up. Two players left alive. Grenade frag comes in. Plaz going to commit for the revive. Oh, I heard a footstep up top. Was that a footstep up top? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That could have been perfectly timed. He's going to try and camp him on the back wall. He's actually a sniper right now. That was like one bullet, one headshot. Nice skip here. That that one shot was enough. And they have managed to clear it out. The objective can come. It really should... Uh... Well, it doesn't matter. They managed to gonna get the, the round on the boards a bit all over the place. The Axis didn't get into the transmitter. They had a small window, only Chris went. But anyway. Anyway, Gigapuddy need to get as much time on the board as possible for their own attack. They can't have a an absolute super time for allies to deal with. They can't deal with it. This is for their, their chance to get into the grand final. Queens... Managed to get the early plant down. Interesting. Ah, oh, crumbs. It's happened again. He's not... He, he's, he's, he's no way he could really know, but... He pushed up with the nail in his hand. Let go. Then everyone killed out for him. And then, he's, and then he killed out instantly at the same time. And he pretty much had the objective when it happened. Push into this lower area is going to get a little bit stalled. And I think there's someone who's made it through the courtyard. There might be a nade at the feet here. Who was, who was the medic? Crumbs. He went spawn side into low spawn. He might just camp them on the spawn side. We'll see what he decides to do. Are they going for flag? It looks like there was a commit for flag there. Oh, he's giving his position away. They had no idea it was here. I guess he thought the call would have come in that he was in office because he made a lot of noise on catwalk. But they had no clue. They were absolutely oblivious. Sometimes, sometimes you just don't know. Crossfire on this ladder is pretty good. Artillery on it as well. Pushes have to go into that lower area now and they've doubled up on the defense here. As the headshots are going to come in. Revives are going to come in too. Bit of a long spawn on one of the players. Nice shooting from Oxy. He's going to kill out, but the flag should be pretty much in the hands of the allies now. Same situation we've had in the last round where it doesn't mean too much. This is good play by whoever this ally player is in the lower spawn. He's committing a couple of players. Nice. Nice, nice. Was that four headshots? It sounded like it. Might have been the only the three. I'm not sure if the regen pops in this game. There's no head. Uh, there's no helmet protection like, like there used to be in, in ET, at least for the first headshot. No fall off damage either, so those headshots are brutal. Steve. Is his hand on the flag? Mr. support his teammate on lower. There is a player in the office that he needs to go back up for the flag for, potentially. Chris holding the courtyard by himself. They are going to lose the flag indeed. Nice shooting from Chris. And they've managed to hold off the flag again. Are they going to commit? It looks like they are. Risky. A little risky maybe. 
Oh, this try is going to kill Raz here. Nope. I must have caught it on the, uh, the sound timings. Double teams. They're doing a really good job at reclaiming this flag, and it's exactly the same spawn time, pretty much. Really good job. Sometimes a little bit of overcommitment, but they're getting away with it. Push is going to come into this lower area potentially. Freedom to just walk up the, like, go up the ladder at the moment. Crumbs has managed to do that. I'm not sure if they planted service yet. I'm not sure. I don't think they have. Let's see. Have they got an engineer? They have indeed. Service is yet to be planted. Giga Puddy finally just falling back. Four minutes of, of constant aggression towards the flag. <laughs> I say that. I say that. They're pushing again. They got an early frag and they're just like, yeah, let's commit. Let's commit. Two NG is going to be at the flag, and it looks like they're just going to be able to pick it up again. I think that's Oxy just pushing straight through. And they did indeed pick up the flag once more. Plant has gone down, so they might go for a defuse. They didn't. They really, they, I mean, that would have been a real kick in the teeth. They could have easily got a defuse on service there. Just slowed it down, like guaranteed, by another 30 seconds. I'm shown by Chris again. Triple frag from him. It's going to stick it out in this lower area. Ammo looks like in a pretty decent position. They're initially having time to just stroll around. Allies dying maybe a little bit too quick. If you're dying in the first 10 seconds, you need to just slow it down a bit maybe. That's taken out. Maybe a commit to the upper area. As Crumbs pushes up the ladder. He isn't going to be able to get the frag. Chris has decided to kill out. So again, they've got the, the, the flag here. But watch the commitment from Gigapuddy. If they get that frag in the first five, uh, well, 10 to 15 seconds, you'll just see the full team commitment. They've got open push to service this time. We've got Oxy by himself. He has been caught out. There's two medics. For the Axis, one, I think, is actually in the warehouse. He might actually be going for flag. He is indeed in the in the courtyards. Nice shooting from Steve. He is going to get taken down. Chris isn't sure. This is looking good for the full hold. A full hold isn't enough, but it would give the Giga Puddy guys so much time to, to play with on their own attack. Nice grenade. Unfortunately, I think it might have hit the uh, the bar here. Nice work from Crumbs. Takes down the first. The stair revives. Stuff of nightmares. Doc's camp is in full effect. What's the split like? Are they going one service? Multiple service. No revive. Three service. Really, uh... Making it obvious they're coming from this direction. And I don't see any frags coming. Okay, we, we did see plaz get dropped, so I was maybe thinking a, a run for the flag was on. Now they know he's coming from courtyards, because the guy at courtyard did not tap out. Dead comms. Dead comms. We can hear them going towards spawn side, Oxy. Lots of footsteps on the, the catwalk. Didn't realise actually you could hear them through that one. Two players, both with nades out. We saw this so much in in the upper bracket final between Roar and Giga Puddy, where like players on each team were both getting caught with nades out. It's really it's really surprising, honestly, because both teams, well, pretty much all the players in in this three on three tournament are, are good shooters, you know. And uh, I would have thought they would just rely more on their gun more than anything else. That's a nice push. One player alive left at the objective. It's Chris. The objective is going to get picked up. And it's got a 10 second head start. Steve is almost definitely going to respawn in his LT this time. Almost definitely. Backwall airstrike has to be on, surely. There will be a, a sniper as well, I've got no doubt. 
Artillery is actually down, and they're just going to be able to get the objective. Raz overcommitted, maybe. Plaz is actually down as well. There is one player left alive, Oxy on the back wall. I'm not sure of his HP. Nice shot, the angle on that shot. Crumbs has been taken out as well, and Oxy gets the return. That angle, that angle. And back they go, and back they go. This is just a set of time. It's it's really not too bad for uh, for queens to overcommit. Even if they get full hold, it doesn't matter too much. They just want to try and say uh, shave like a minute or two off the clock, so it doesn't make mean too much. You gotta kill him, Chris. You gotta kill him. Three kills of Chris. No full spawns for the allies, but. He's he. They want the ten minutes. They need. Maybe they need it. Maybe they need it. Could we see the first decider in this tournament? Chris again on the objective. Spawn side push has been called. Really nice shots from the allies. Chris didn't get off a shot. Didn't even hit them, and he's just getting Thompson bullets in the face. More headshots from Chris. He's going frag movie modes. He's gone spawn. Oh, Chris could catch him here. 200 IQ from Chris. He's actually been taken out. It's not going to mean too much, like I say. But it could be like an extra 10 seconds off the clock. Not that big a deal. Here comes the push from the Allies. And they're going to be have to shave, what, like 7 seconds or 5 or 6 seconds off the clock. Allies win. <laughs> yeah. All queens have to do is hold to win, so it wouldn't matter too much, but... I mean, we'll see how close it gets at the end, you never know. We did see the end of one of the escape rounds where it did come down to the last, like, one second. So it might make a difference. It's unlikely, but it might make a difference. You never know. It's the one time it does that, you know, you're grateful that you did shave that, that couple of seconds off the clock. So Giga Puddy have nine minutes... What? 9 minutes 54 to get a time on the board. That's all they have to do is break the time, force the decider. And we will be going to Adlinest as the decider. Plant comes down in the lower area just in time. Steve's air strike. I could hear it. I could hear it. I could hear the planes. That's a jump over the back wall. Steve's going to get maybe another frag in the back in a second. Going up the ladder. Oh, Oxy. Nearly. Nearly. Nearly caught Raz out on the reloads. More airstrike frags coming in. They're playing double LT. It's interesting. They're missing someone. Plaz. Oh, okay, he's not. I was going to say, Plaz could pretend he could jump, but. It's not going to be the case. Sticking with Plaz in this lower area. Nate. Again. Right in his feet. Not sure how he survived that one. Lots of headshots with the Sten. Who's the last player alive? Decides to kill out. Push from courtyard, two nades. Ooh. Nice air strike. That should get one kill or gib. Still all alive somehow. Gonna get shot in the back from service probably. Nope. Shot in the back from spawn. One more player pushing from the spawn side. Nice work from crumbs. Raz. I mean. Oh, I guess he got the flag. Did he get the flag? They didn't get the flag. Okay. They just committed from courtyard. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I was like, it's full commit there. Risky play. Bit of team damage coming in, maybe. I didn't I didn't hear the, the noises, but maybe. Three players pushing in from lower again. Last player was in low warehouse, so they're going to respawn in at flag. They will go for that service plant this time around. They have got the engineer plaz. It's going to get that done. 
early frag in the first 10 seconds again. Now you're going to see the Axis commit exactly what was basically happening to them the entire time. We'll probably see exactly what they do right now. Foot shots for the win. <laughs> Finishing that frag off, Chris. Plant has gone down on service. Can't really commit too heavily until that's down because it's just too hard, too hard to push that spawn side just with that being the only option. They'll, they'll still do it though. We'll stick with Chris on the attack here. Two players in the spawn sides. Ah, he's pulled out a nade. Oh, he nearly got lucky with the grenade. That's a not kill a teammate, basically. Frag did come in from Crumbs. Objective will get picked up. Respawners are going to come in for the Axis. And he's not going to get away. But I think one of the respawning Ani players might be able to get into position to pick this up. Is that going to happen? Who's going to get here first? Steve. Chris with the old head, head hide coming in. You're going to see it. No, no flag commit, okay. They went 100% sure, I don't think, on the uh, how many were out. But I think the allies had two out for full spawn. So that was uh, an uncomfortable moment for the allies. Just over half the time left on the clock. Time is slowly running out, slowly. Ooh, frag's coming in. Four bullets in the clip. Oh, he's going to get quite off a full spawn here. No, they, they've really overcommitted here. Where has he gone? I think the objective's gone. Oxy's just got all the frags. And uh, I think that's it. He's going to go back wall. He pushed service and then went back. Lots of full spawns. Oh, he's messing up a little bit. I don't think they're going to be able to catch him. So that's going to be a decider. Oh, if that was a headshot, it wouldn't have made too much of a difference. But if that was a headshot, it would have been beautiful. <laughs> I don't know how the sniper got the opportunity to shoot, though. That's the real question. When there was two allies on that back wall. No idea. Who's the NG? We'll stick with the NG. Because they're going to get destroyed, so we've got to give them some love. Oxy. Nice headshots. I say they're going to get destroyed. Oh, he's found someone. Raz. Steve. Gets the give as well. Obviously, they're only going to play single engineer in 3-on-3. Three three. But maybe the respawn came in and it did not. It did not. Axis respawn coming in now. And the allies are going to go through and, and press the button. If you're an ET player, this is the slight difference between RSW and an ET version. Is this button. Is That's not a team door. And uh, you have to blow something up at the top of this. You don't just... Uh, you don't just run through and get a flag. But, and that's because that's not a team door. And they have managed to, to plant that upper area. They still have to stay alive though. They can potentially go for the defuse. They might have an engineer. They do not. Will they respawn with one? No. So they're going to let the upper area blow. This isn't going to mean too much. They've closed the blast doors. So they've still got to commit to the controls here. But if they did manage to push through team door, it's a clear run to the flag. And when they do destroy the uh, blast doors, there's a clear run to the flag from that side as well. So it just means higher potential for them to get the flags respawn. Two minutes held on this first stage so far. I'm not sure if this is best of two or best of one. I would assume it's just normal best of two, but 
Because it's a one-day cup, it might be sped up a little bit. I'll ask after this round, half round finishes. Oh, how? How is he not dead? <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, that nade's like that is a that is a nade that would 100% kill him in OSP, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Push coming through, and this is where the flag grabs just insta. And this is good. even if they haven't planted controls or like got full um, advantage at controls, can commit here. The uh, axes are going to have to fall back sooner rather than later. Interesting nade there. Nearly, nearly caught plans out a little bit. Axis respawning back in. Nice grenade. That's an insta give as well. Will he get the second frag? He doesn't. Shaky aim on that second one. But they've done it. They've done it. This is a reasonably fast time. Axis respawning in 10 seconds. And unless he really screws up the strafes. He did pretty good. He did pretty good. Three and a half minutes. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. The first stage was looking solid for Queen. Solid. It all fell down. All it fell down. That, that brutal insta give nades. Let's check out the stats. Nothing really to talk about. Except I guess the attacking team having more frags than the defense team. That's interesting. Prepare to fight. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Fight. Okay. So, not sure we made a rule on that. <laughs> but I'm, I'm assuming it'll be first to two clear rounds or best of three. They're going to push straight through that team door. Did they have an engineering position already? He's going to go for the controls plant. They decided to back off and knock... Oh, there was like a fake. Interesting, I'm not sure. Controls plant is good, though. They've done it nice and speedily. I guess I guess Steve's experience there is like, we need to get this done. We need to open up everything because we need... We haven't got much time on the board. But they're going for a defuse. They're going for a defuse. Nice grenade. And... Nice frags. Pistol frag will come out from crumbs. There must have been a little bit of damage done by that grenade. And the controls are going to open up the, the big doors. Steve's going to go for that plant. This has to go down. This isn't just about entry to the flag. It's also about an exit with the objective to that transmitter. You can play this very, very differently on defense. On 3-on-3 three three than 6-on-6. Six six because... One of the main reasons, no panzer, so you can crowd certain areas. Doc's room is a little bit safer if you played it in 6 on 6, you know you're just basically panzer bait for a lot of it. Short spawn for the allies, Steve's going to try and uh, see if anyone commits. 17 second spawn for triple window LT here, that'll be Oxy, and he is out. Steve would have leaned that, and they're, they're getting a little bit of damage in window... Medic took a lot of damage as well. And they're getting away with the objective. They're getting away with the objective. They will be able to get to trans to set up. Timing was favorable for the uh, Axis team. As the Axis get into position. Blast doors are going to close. Crumbs just leads the, the push over his team. Raz in hot pursuit. Two players pushing in from that lower area. They're just going to push in on the short spawn, try and take out one one player and, and just back off on the respawn, but they're not even going to be able to do that. Three player commitment coming in. No objective's going to get picked up. It's going to be all from the flag, I'm pretty sure. No, it's actually going to be some from ramp too. Nice grenade from Chris is not going to actually be able to get any frags or anything. Nice shooting. Chris in the overwatch position. Supporting every single side. Oh, he's, he's actually gibbed out. Five seconds. This could be it. It's three on two. It's three on two. Plaza's going to try and catch someone out. And he's managing to catch out 
One. Nice revive on the on the stairs. Chris does actually manage to respawn back in, but I think he's going to get caught out by Raz. He does. Two frags coming in. And this is looks like it's going to be the round win for Queens. They are going to be able to get an extra round on the boards. I'm not sure. The the uh, the person who runs the cup <laughs> said that he's not sure if it's the best of one or not. And uh, Crumb says GG's. And it was indeed a best of one. So that's it. Three to two scoreline. Clutch moments at the end. First game to go to a decider. I'll put the score on the main scoreboards. We are going to have the grand final next. And I'm not sure if it's going to be two finals. Potentially, you know, the lower bracket team has to win twice. Or they're going to get like a round advantage. I'm just going to double check with Oxy. I'll be back in a second, guys. But GG's, so that was a good game.